the mosquito, a tiny but mighty flying insect that can make going outdoors miserable. Indeed, they can be irritating and annoying, but did you know mosquitoes are also the world's deadliest pest? It's true. In fact, no other animal on the planet has caused more harm to human health. This is a backyard battle that we cannot afford to lose. And this team of biologists, pilots, technicians, and field operatives at the Lee County Mosquito Control District fight it every day. The fascinating process of locating and managing this pest has a deep history within our community. Its control is paramount in reclaiming our great outdoors. It is very important to fight the bite. For millions of years, mosquitoes have fed on the blood of unwilling hosts. The bites are irritating to all of us and can be more dangerous than most of us realize. Mosquitoes have plagued humans with illnesses like malaria, yellow fever, and Zika virus, making them more harmful than all other dangerous animals combined. The battle with this formidable foe has scientists and researchers working every day to safely and effectively control this continuous threat to life as we know it. Using cutting edge technology and research based practices make the team at Lee County Mosquito Control District so effective. Surveillance is key to locating and targeting mosquitoes. The district collects the insects to determine the species of mosquito, where they are growing, and the best time to target them. They use stationary traps in various locations throughout Lee County, trap trucks like these, and physical inspections. Scientists then compile the needed information and plan effective control and suppression missions. Timing is crucial. The district's primary goal is to target mosquito larvae before they emerge as biting adults. There is a limited treatment window of just a few days to effectively target the mosquito within the larval stage. Considering that more than 30,000 mosquito eggs have been counted in one square foot of salt marsh, timely treatments are crucial to protecting residents. Southwest Florida's year-round warm temperatures, flat topography, and abundance of water make our corner of paradise the ideal habitat for mosquitoes. The fact is, without the daily efforts from Lee County Mosquito Control District, Southwest Florida can produce some of the largest numbers of mosquitoes on the planet. Coastal Lee County encompasses nearly 60,000 acres of mosquito breeding salt marsh, in addition to hundreds of square miles of scrub habitat and freshwater swamps. The beauty of this area has attracted close to a million residents who call this their permanent home and another million travel here annually to vacation on our beaches, enjoy spring baseball games, or just get away from the cold. However, without diligent control, the mosquito menace would compromise our quality of life. The history of growth in Florida is directly linked to the successes of controlling mosquitoes and the diseases they carry. It is a demanding and important challenge for which the district is prepared. Back in 1958, the Florida legislature created the Lee County Mosquito Control District for the sole purpose of controlling mosquitoes throughout the county. It is an independent special district supported by the taxpayers of the county. It has worked continuously since its inception to keep the residents and visitors healthy and comfortable while safely enjoying the great outdoors. The district is overseen by a seven-member elected Board of Commissioners and managed by the Executive Director and staff. The district is headquartered at this state-of-the-art facility at Buckingham Army Airfield in the northeast area of the county. The district headquarters has a unique history going back to the days of World War II. The site was originally built as a training facility for young airmen and future gunners of the U.S. Army Corps. The site, which was used to train soldiers for the fight against the Axis powers, is now used as a staging ground for a different battle. Using an assortment of specialized equipment, a new kind of soldier is now trained to fight mosquitoes and protect human health. That fight reaches the battleground when mosquitoes undergo metamorphosis and hatch out of eggs as larvae or wigglers. As with the larvae of all insects, consuming as much energy as possible, the wigglers feed on algae and other elements in the water before they eventually pupate and then emerge as a flying adult mosquito. 
Both male and female adult mosquitoes primarily feed on nectar from flowers and other plants. But for most female mosquitoes to lay eggs, she must first have a protein-rich blood meal. Trucks like this one carrying larvicide, target mosquito larvae in roadside ditches and accessible water bodies. These trucks are equipped with portable backpack sprayers and retractable hoses, allowing applicators to get into hard to reach breeding sites. Dependent on the mosquito species, certain types of naturally occurring bacteria mixed with water or embedded in pellets are broadcasted over a treatment area. When the larvae ingest it, they are eliminated. Releasing native predaceous fish to control larvae is another method biologists can use in targeting areas. When larger treatments are needed to be carried out by air, the district's manned and unmanned aircraft are deployed. Unmanned aerial systems, also known as drones, are highly capable of treating mosquito breeding sources by air, effectively and efficiently, while larger manned helicopters conduct the largest treatments throughout the county. While the majority of mosquitoes targeted are controlled through these operations, there is still a need to go after adult mosquitoes if the numbers are excessive or diseases found in an area. Biologists and field technicians monitor adult mosquito activity by collecting landing rates and analyzing trap collections. Mosquitoes caught are counted and identified according to species, which not only warns a potential disease risk, but also helps to determine the type of treatment necessary. Field inspectors respond to service requests from residents and investigate properties to determine where mosquitoes are coming from. Knowing the type of mosquitoes plaguing an area allows for more targeted and selected method of control. A number of viruses carried by mosquitoes are harbored in birds. Common backyard birds such as blue jays, cardinals, and morning doves are capable of carrying West Nile virus, St. Louis encephalitis, Eastern equine encephalitis, and others. Mosquitoes who take blood meals from these infected birds may pick up the virus and later transmit it to another host. To monitor this type of disease transmission, the district has a flock of sentinel chickens that provide warning to district biologists. The chickens are placed in coops located throughout the county, and blood samples are drawn for antibody analysis. If a chicken from a particular coop shows an indicator of antibodies to a virus, it means that mosquitoes in that area are transmitting it. For specific areas that may be experiencing higher than normal activity, trucks distributing ultra-low volume insecticide will swiftly eliminate any flying mosquito in a neighborhood. The ULV truck missions are carried out after sunset to target mosquitoes when they are most active, as well as to minimize impacts on beneficial pollinators such as bees and butterflies. If a large area requires treatment, fixed-wing aircraft are deployed. District aircraft fly between 300 and 350 feet above the ground and are piloted by airmen using night vision goggles. Each mission can provide mosquito control to more than 20,000 acres. When adult mosquito control is required on the numerous barrier islands on the coast of Lee County, helicopters are used to ensure precision targeting to the narrow strips of land. There are additional means in the battle to fight the bite. Lee County Mosquito Control District is the first in the nation to irradiate male mosquitoes with x-rays and release them to the wild. This practice is known as classical SIT or sterile insect technique. By releasing sterile non-biting male mosquitoes to a targeted area in large quantities, they will outcompete with the wild males to mate with females. The females will then lay eggs that do not hatch. This is a way to plummet the population without the use of insecticides that certain species of mosquito are demonstrating resistance to. Battling mosquitoes takes a village. The district puts education at the forefront of its effort to defend public health. Informed residents are more likely to be proactive to eliminate breeding sources around their homes and will take precaution when an abundance of mosquitoes are present. To accomplish the task of educating as many people as possible, for over three decades, the district has partnered with the School District of Lee County to provide standards-based environmental science lessons in collaboration with classroom teachers. The program is geared for students at all levels within the school system, from elementary through high school. 
over 20,000 Lee County students participate in mosquito education programs each school year. Spending time talking with people at community events is another great way to spread the word about mosquito bite prevention. The district's public relations and education team provides static displays of mosquito control equipment and informational booths at a wide variety of public events and festivals. They also work with local media outlets to keep residents informed of mosquito activity. The Lee County Mosquito Control District also partners with a number of local, state, and federal agencies for the betterment of mosquito control efforts, the environment, and for greater efficiency. One example of a decades-long partnership is with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. In the mid-1960s, a system of impoundments were built to control the hydrology of the J.N. Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge on Sanibel Island, greatly reducing the massive mosquito numbers that emerged from mangrove marshes. In turn, the wildlife benefited from refuge biologists' ability to regulate the flow of water. In addition, visitors to the refuge are able to easily access the wildlife sanctuary via Wildlife Drive, which was built on the dikes created by the Lee County Mosquito Control District. District staff regularly meets with refuge biologists to ensure mosquitoes are controlled while being sensitive to the natural environment of one of the most beautiful places in Lee County. No matter how the battle against mosquitoes is waged, in-house testing of the materials used to combat mosquitoes occurs regularly. Ensuring that mosquitoes are affected by the treatments involves numerous cage trials and lab-based bioassays. All insecticides used by the district are EPA approved and have been validated by extensive testing, confirming that the recommended doses and application rates continue to be effective is the primary mission of the district's field validation department. Droplet tests are conducted on site at the Buckingham Airfield. Both the truck fleet and the aircraft are tested to ensure the proper droplet sizes are dispersed for effectiveness and label compliance. Back checks after each treatment occur to measure effectiveness in winning the fight the bite battle. At its core, the Lee County Mosquito Control District is a protector of public health through its ongoing effort to control mosquitoes. The district continues to use best practices to ensure residents and visitors enjoy all that makes Southwest Florida so unique and special. Over the years, the faces have changed, but the district's mission remains the same. You can keep up with what's going on at the district by following their social media pages or go directly to LCMCD's website. Here you will learn information about mosquitoes and how to control them, as well as get updates on area mosquito treatments. It is also easy to make a service request online when the mosquito activity increases in your neighborhood. At the end of the day, this team knows that their mission to fight the bite will maximize your enjoyment of our great outdoors.